It's not easy keeping up with Dorothy Hodnot. Hello, Eric. How are you? At the school, she's steered to success over 23 years. Hi, kids. How are you? I think schools need to be orderly places. It's called running a tight ship. But the, the students need to know where the boundaries lie. Hello. How are you? Hello, everyone. Principal Hodnot is finally relinquishing the reins of Holroyd High in Western Sydney. Hi, everyone. If you think of the metaphor of a, a large ship and it takes a long time for that ship to slow down, a school going through culture change is a bit like that. It's a slow process over a number of years. In Dorothy Hodnot's earlier years at Sydney University in the 60s, she dreamed of being an archaeologist when she wasn't penning racy cartoons for the student paper or appearing in underground films. Girls of my generation didn't think much in terms of career because there wasn't a lot of career available for girls. You know, you, teaching was a good one though because you got paid the same as men. What's this about? That's about the... After years of travelling and teaching in Australia and in Europe, Dorothy arrived at Holroyd High in 1995 where about half of the students have a refugee background and almost 90% speak English as a second language. There was an educational apartheid in the school. There was the them and the us. And so one of the first things that I had to do was actually to, to extend all the facilities of the school. There were lots and lots of rules and a lot of the rules were overlapping each other and they weren't common sense. So what I did was I, I threw out all those rules and we operated on common sense for a year while we negotiated a new, uh, a new way of doing things. And we came up with respect. And so we had to make that sort of suitable for kids. A respect for myself, respect for others, respect for the school and community. It worked. Just ask Bashir Yusufi, whom 7.30 first met in 2012, when he came to Holroyd High as a 15-year-old. Do I have a volunteer to read Romeo? Thanks, Bashir. He'd just fled Afghanistan after his parents were killed by the Taliban. I didn't go to school, so I didn't, I didn't have that, this opportunity I have at the moment. This week, Bashir travelled to Sydney to thank the person he now calls his mum. She is more than a principal to me. And she, um, she, uh, she is my mum, and, and, and she adopted me, and, and which is, uh, which is a great thing, and, and I love, and I love her, and I, and I really respect her. Bashir is now in the final year of a business degree at ANU. How are you? Oh, how wonderful to see you! <laughs> Dorothy helped Bashir through school and into university with her Friends of Zainab scholarship program named after the first student she helped to get to uni using her own credit card. Without your help, um, it would be, it would, I would be staying at ANU right now. You decided to learn English while you were in detention. You decided to learn 15 English words right. each day. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and that wouldn't have happened if you hadn't had the motivation. You, it was a happy combination of your motivation, the school uh, supporting you and so yeah. on. Yeah. And then all right, become a favourite place and you will be f my favourite place for the rest of my life. Well, it's a bit like a family, isn't it, really? Yep. Yeah. Fatima, congratulations. Dorothy Hodnot has been honoured with an Order of Australia and the Australian Human Rights Medal for her tireless fight for the rights of refugees. But what matters most to her is handing hundreds of students opportunities they never dreamed possible. You can all become such, uh, such powerful forces in your community, but in, in the general community too. Your children will all be educated, you know that. Isn't that great? Congratulations again, you're terrific. The transformation in one generation is, is profound and, and it is something which can't be reversed and it changes lives and it shifts lives and that's what's really important. That's what has driven me. Dorothy Hodnot's recent farewell dinner was less a remembering of a career just ending 
than a celebration of lives just beginning. We see her as this amazing, wonderful woman who has changed our lives for the better. Hello everyone, how are you? We've averaged just around 60% of our students going to university for the last few years. We're above the normal pattern for, for the whole population. Hi fellas. Almost no one from this school drops out of university. Everyone is welcoming and there's never any bullying. We all help each other. And Miss Hodnot, you're a really good role model and we all look up to you a lot and we love that you've led us this way. I came in here, I was like, oh, I'm in a new country with new students, everything. But the environment that Miss Hodnot created, it was like amazing. We should take every child, as far as that child can go, in school and then beyond. If we don't do that, we're, we're falling behind in our, our duty of care to our young people. They're our future. Is this school your greatest achievement? Is this school my greatest achievement? Yes, I would think so. <laughs>